I'm Erin Courtney and today I'm going to show you a really easy trifle recipe that is perfect for your next 4th of July celebration. Welcome to my kitchen. A lot of times around the holidays we want to make something festive and colorful, especially depending on that holiday. Well July 4th you've got your red, white, and blue and we only need four ingredients to make this trifle that is so light, so delicious, and it's kind of healthy because it's got fruit in it. Let's get started. So here are my ingredients. I have a 14 ounce store bought angel food cake. You just grab it at the store. It's fantastic. I have one pound of frozen sliced strawberries that have thawed completely. You see all those juices in every day? That's wonderful. That's what we want. I have 12 ounces of frozen blueberries that have also been thawed out and I actually squeezed the bag a little bit to get some more of the blueberry juices out of there. And then I have two 8 ounce containers of Cool Whip. So your frozen whip topping, that's going to go in between our layers. And then just for the garnish I have some fresh blueberries and strawberries to stick those on top. And we're going to be putting these in a standard trifle dish. I grabbed one of these little... Um, red, white, and blue bows from the store. It was like a dollar. It's a nice little addition to your trifle ball. Let's get started on putting this all together. I'm going to take half of my angel food cake and I'm just going to tear it into pieces. Put it here in the bottom of the dish. It doesn't have to be neat or pretty or perfect doing this. This is just our beginning process. Press that into the bottom right there. The next thing I'm going to do is spoon these blueberries in on top of the cake. So you see all that juice? Oh, look at that. That is what you want. The juice from the blueberries will soak into the sponge cake. Get it? Sponge cake sponges it up. This is what you want. It'll make the cake nice and moist and give it that extra blueberry flavor. Then I'm going to take one of my whip topping containers. I'm just gonna stick that in there, pour it all out. This doesn't have to be pretty or perfect, you just want it in an even layer on top of the blueberries to cover it completely. Okay, that's done. Next, I'm taking the other half of the sponge cake. Just breaking that up, doing the same thing. This is our second layer here. Okay, press that down in there to give, make some more room. Now, I'm going to pour my strawberries in the strawberry juice inside. Oh, look at that. See all that strawberry juice? Same thing with the blueberry juice. This is going to soak into that cake and make it really nice and moist and give you a lot more of that strawberry flavor. Oh, it's perfect. Perfect! And now the remaining Cool Whip topping. Get all of that out of there. And you just want to make sure that all of the fruit is covered. Lock that moisture in there and make it super delicious. And now that we have our whipped topping on top, it's just not done yet. It just doesn't look done to me. So we're going to finish it. We're going to put some strawberries. That's a nice pretty garnish. I usually like to try to size the strawberries up so they're about the same size so it doesn't look all kind of off whack. Just go right around there and take some of these blueberries and I'm just going to pretty those up on top. Look at that! Isn't that so pretty? I 
like putting a lot of blueberries on top. And there you have it. Isn't that so cute? Maybe a couple more blueberries. Yes. I like a lot of blueberries on top. Boop. There we go. There you have it. This is your super easy four ingredient travel that is fantastic for 4th of July. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this with uh, some plastic wrap. Let it set in the refrigerator for a couple hours. We just want to let that juice kind of soak into the sponge cake. And then I'm going to head over to my brother's house because that's where the pool is. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and keep your eyes peeled for a lot more videos and recipes. And look below, I'll have all the ingredients that you need for this recipe right here. Happy 4th of July.